Legal Bookkeeping, an exercise on cash books and ledgers. Let's take a look at examples to help better illustrate the principles outlined in the section of cash books and ledgers. Record the following transactions in all necessary cash books and ledgers, also known as T-accounts. Consider these as transactions for the firm ABC Attorneys. Trust account transactions for the month of August 20XX. 1. 5 August 20XX. Receive 20,000 Rand from Mr. Nice for a divorce matter. 2. 8 August 20XX. Received 50,000 Rand from the RAF for Mr. Royal. 3. 11 August 20XX. Paid Dr. Ramella 6,500 Rand on behalf of Mr. Royal for medical assessments carried out. 4. 15 August 20XX. Paid Advocate 5,000 Rand for the matter of Mr. Nice. 5. 15 August 20XX. Paid Mr. Royal 31,000 Rand. 6. 15 August 20XX. Transferred fees of 12,500 Rand to the business account after finalizing the matter of Mr. Royal. 7. 31 August 20XX. Incurred bank charges of 225 Rand. 8. 31 August 20XX. Earned interest of 320 Rand. Business account transactions for the month of August 20XX. 1. 1 August 20XX. Attorney deposited capital of 50,000 Rand. 2. 2 August 20XX. Purchased furniture for cash for 10,000 Rand. 3. 4 August 20XX. Purchased computers for 8,000 Rand. 4. 4 August 20XX. Paid rent deposit of 4,800 Rand. 5. 4 August 20XX. Paid rent of 4,800 Rand. 6. 5 August 20XX. Issued petty cash check of 2,000 Rand. 7. 31 August 20XX. Paid Telcom 550 Rand for the telephone invoice. 8. 31 August 20XX. Paid Susan the receptionist a salary of 5,500 Rand. 9. 31 August 20XX. Incurred bank charges of 201 Rand. Petty cash transactions for the month of August 20XX. 1. 5 August 20XX. Bought stationery for 990 Rand from Waltons. 2. 5 August 20XX. Bought office groceries for 330 Rand. Trust transactions. The following transactions were processed in the month of August 20XX. Transaction 1. On 5 August 20XX, the firm received an amount of 20,000 Rand from Mr. Nice for his divorce matter. To account for receipts, the formula to learn and follow is You always start with the trust cash book. Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Debit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 5 August 20XX. 3. Description. Mr. Nice, divorce. 4. Folio, L1, which stands for Trust Ledger 1. 5. Amount, 20,000 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry. 1. Credit, the Trust Ledger. 2. Date, 5 August 20XX. 3. Description. Trust Deposit 4. Folio TCB1, which stands for Trust Cash Book 1 5. Amount 20,000 Rand Transaction 2. On 8 August 20XX, the firm received an amount of 50,000 Rand from the Road Accident Fund for the claim lodged on behalf of Mr. Royal. To account for receipts, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Debit. The trust cash book. 2. 
Date, 8 August 20XX. 3. Description, Mr. Royal RAF. 4. Folio, L2. 5. Amount, 50,000 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry. 1. Credit, the trust ledger. 2. Date, 8 August 20XX. 3. Description, trust deposit. 4. Folio, TCB1. 5. Amount, 50,000 Rand. Transaction 3. On 11 August 20XX, the firm paid Dr. Ramella 6,500 Rand from the money received on behalf of Mr. Royal for medical assessments carried out. To account for payments, the formula to learn and follow is you always start with the trust cash book. Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Credit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 11 August 20XX. 3. Description. Dr. Ramella, Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. L2. 5. Amount. 6,500 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry. 1. Debit. The trust ledger. 2. Date. 11 August 20XX. 3. Description. Payment to Dr. Ramella. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 6,500 Rand. Transaction 4. On 15 August 20XX, the firm paid an advocate an amount of 5,000 Rand for the matter of Mr. Nice. To account for payments, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Credit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Advocate for Mr. Nice. 4. Folio. L1. 5. Amount. 5,000 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry. 1. Debit. The trust ledger. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Payment to advocate. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 5,000 Rand. Transaction 5. On 15 August 20XX, the firm paid Mr. Royal an amount of 31,000 Rand. In this transaction, the firm is paying Mr. Royal the money due to him from his claim with the RAF. You credit the trust cash book with the amount of 31,000 Rand because the money has been paid out of the trust account of the firm. Since Mr. Royal is the one receiving the money, we must debit his trust ledger account with an amount of 31,000 Rand paid to him. To account for payments, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Credit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Payment to Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. L2. 5. Amount. 31,000 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry. 1. Debit. The trust ledger. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Payment to Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 31,000 Rand. Transaction 6. On 15 August 20XX, the firm transferred fees of 12,500 Rand to the business account after finalising the matter of Mr. Royal. This transaction consists of three parts. Part 1. For the firm to transfer fees to the business account, you start by recording the fee in the journal. Debit. Mr. Royal, 
12,500 rand. Credit. Fees. 12,500 rand. To record the fee, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the business ledger. 1. Debit. The client account. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Fees. Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. J1, which stands for Journal 1. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry in the business ledger. 1. Credit. The fee account. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. J1. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Part 2. Transfer from the trust account. The second part of the transaction is to transfer the money from the trust bank account. You debit the trust ledger of Mr. Royal and you credit the trust cash book. To account for payments, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Credit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Transfer to business. Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. L2. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Part 2. Complete the double entry in the trust ledger. 1. Debit. The trust ledger. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Transfer to business account. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Part 3. Transfer to business account. The third part of the transaction is for the transfer received in the business account. You debit the business cash book and credit the business ledger account of Mr. Royal. This reflects that the money received in the business account has been transferred from Mr. Royal's account. To account for payments, the formula to learn and follow is Part 1. Start with the business cash book. 1. Debit. The business cash book. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Transfer from trust. Mr. Royal. 4. Folio. BL1, which stands for Business Ledger 1. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Part 2. Complete the entry in the business ledger. 1. Credit. Mr. Royal's business ledger account. 2. Date. 15 August 20XX. 3. Description. Transfer from trust. 4. Folio. BCB1, which stands for Business Cash Book 1. 5. Amount. 12,500 Rand. Transaction 7. On 31 August 20XX, the bank debited a total amount of 225 Rand for its monthly charges from the firm's trust banking account. The bank charges are paid out of the funds in the trust account, therefore the cash book is credited. The Law Society allows the firm to claim the bank charges from the interest earned in circumstances where interest is higher than bank charges. Therefore, a ledger account for the Law Society is created and debited with the bank charges. Part 1. Start with the Trust Cash Book. 1. Credit. The Trust Cash Book. 2. Date. 31 August 20XX. 3. Description. Bank Charges. 4. Folio. L3. 5. Amount. 225 Rand. Part 2. Complete the entry in the trust ledger. 1. Debit. The Law Society Trust Ledger Account. 2. Date. 
31 August 20XX. 3. Description. Bank charges. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 225 Rand. Transaction 8. On 31 August 20XX, the trust account was credited with interest earned amounting to 320 Rand. The trust cash book is debited as the amount is received in the trust account and the ledger account of the Law Society is credited. Part 1. Start with the trust cash book. 1. Debit. The trust cash book. 2. Date. 31 August 20XX. 3. Description. Interest received. 4. Folio. L3. 5. Amount. 320 Rand. Part 2. Complete the entry in the trust ledger. 1. Credit. The Law Society Trust Ledger Account. 2. Date. 31 August 20XX. 3. Description. Interest received. 4. Folio. TCB1. 5. Amount. 320 Rand. The balance carried forward is 95 Rand, which is the interest received, less the bank charges. Business transactions. The following transactions were processed in the month of August 20XX. Transaction 1. On 1 August 20XX, the attorney deposited 50,000 Rand as startup capital. You debit the business cash book as the money has been deposited into the firm's business bank account. You credit the capital account. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 2. On 2 August 20XX, the firm purchased furniture using the business account debit card for 10,000 Rand. You credit the business cash book as money has been paid out towards purchasing the furniture. You debit the furniture account as the furniture purchased is an asset to the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 3. On 4 August 20XX, the firm purchased computers for 8,000 Rand. You debit the computer equipment account as the computers purchased are an asset to the firm. You credit the business cash book as money has been paid out towards purchasing the computers. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 4. On 4 August 20XX, the firm paid an amount of 4,800 Rand as a deposit for leasing the offices. The firm paid a deposit for the rental of the premises. You credit the business cash book as money has been paid out towards paying the rental deposit. The rental deposit is refundable at the termination of the lease. It is thus accounted for as an asset and you debit the rent deposit account. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 5. On 4 August 20XX, the firm paid rent amounting to 4,800 Rand for the month of August 20XX. You credit the business cash book as money was paid out of the business account. You debit the rent account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 6. On 5 August 20XX, the attorney issued a petty cash check of 2,000 Rand. You credit the business cash book as the money was paid out of the business account to fund the petty cash. You create a petty cash book account in the general ledger and debit the petty cash book with the amount of the check. This is your petty cash balance and is reduced with expenses paid out of petty cash along the way. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 7. On 31 August 20XX, the firm paid Telcom an amount of 550 Rand 
for the telephone charges incurred during the month. You debit the telephone account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You credit the business cash book as money was paid out of the business account. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 8. On 31 August 20XX, the firm paid Susan the receptionist a salary of 5,500 Rand. You credit the business cash book as money was paid out of the business account. You debit the salary account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 9. On 31 August 20XX, the firm incurred bank charges of 201 Rand. You credit the business cash book as money was paid out of the business account. You debit the bank charges account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. On the last day of August, you balance the business cash book. The completed business cash book with all the above transactions looks like this. Remember, you have already recorded the fee transfer from Trust, Mr. Royal. You balance the business cash book by adding up the debit and the credit columns and the difference between the total is now your new balance carried forward for the month of September. Petty Cash Transactions The following petty cash transactions were processed in the month of August 20XX. Transaction 1. On 5 August 20XX, the firm bought stationery for 990 Rand from Waltons. You credit the petty cash book as money was paid out of petty cash to purchase the stationery. You debit the stationery account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. Transaction 2. On 5 August 20XX, we bought office groceries and supplies for an amount of 330 Rand. You credit the petty cash book as money was paid out of petty cash to purchase the office supplies. You debit the office supplies or office expenses account as this is an expense incurred by the firm. You record the date, the description, the folio and the amount accordingly. On the last day of August, you balance the petty cash book. The completed petty cash book with all the above transactions looks like this. You balance the business cash book by adding up the debit and the credit columns and the difference between the total is now your new balance carried forward to the month of September.